In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use sweep to rails in order to build a shape of a shoe. We're going to start off by going to File, New, and we'll use Small Objects Inches and click Open. We're going to start off in the top view, and each one of these blocks is one inch. And when you start drawing something larger than a couple inches, it can be hard to see as a reference. So sometimes it can help to build a rectangle just to use for a visual cue. So for the sole of our shoe, I'm going to go ahead and build a reference rectangle here. I'm going to choose center to corner and use zero. And I'm going to come up about five inches. And I'm going to come out about two and a half inches and click. So this is just going to be my reference for the shape of my shoe. I'm going to set layer one as my current layer, curve, freeform, interpolate points. So now I'm going to draw the sole of the shoe. Turn off some of my snaps here, getting in my way. And I'm going to start at the bottom here. And this is going to be the heel, inches back in. Thumbs up, and the toe, and come back. Turn the control points, and I'm just going to make some adjustments. Okay, so this is looking a little bit more like a shoe shape. I'm going to go ahead and remove my rectangle here. It's just for reference to try and troll something approximately the size. Delete. And this is going to be the sole of my shoe. And now I'm going to use a section for the top edge. So curve and we're going to use an ellipse diameter. I'm going to start back here and click. I'm going to use a diameter for my ellipse of 4.5. Oh, that appears a little long. I'm going to try four and click. And then I'm just going to drag out, come towards the edge, and click again. So now I have this set up. I'm going to go ahead and use the move command, transform move, and select this object. Right click. And now I'm in the right or the front view. I'm going to go ahead and click anywhere in either one of the right or the front views. And we're going to move this up 3.5 inches. So 3.5, enter. And if we hold shift, it'll move straight up and click. So now we've got the top and the bottom, sort of where your ankle will be and your bottom of your foot will be. I'm going to set layer two as the current layer. We're going to draw some cross sections here. I'm going to go into the right view. Use curve, freeform, interpolate points, and you want to find a snap. If you can't find any snaps here, you got to turn on some snaps. I can find a nice quad point here, and this is the front of the shoe. If you can't find a quad snap or, or something else, you may need to turn on one of your other snaps. Okay, you can turn on F10. Or go to edit, control points, control points on, and adjust this if need be. I'm going to repeat the freeform command and draw the back side. Just adjusting some of my points a little bit. And I'm going to draw a couple more curves. And if these curves aren't exactly flat, it's OK. Curve, freeform, interpolate points, and a quad point here. Oh, I snapped too far out. I'm going to click on do a couple times. I want this to snap along here. If you can't find a good snap, you can always use the near snap. Quad's getting in my way. I'll turn that off. Snap here. 
Repeat the free form and find a quad here, turn off, and find a near down here. And I'm going to edit these cross sections a little bit. Turn on the control points using the F10 shortcut key. And I just want to bulge these out a little bit. Okay. And now we're set up to make our sweep. So I'm going to so this is our current layer, layer three, and go to surface, sweep two rails. And now I'm going to choose the top and the bottom as my rails and my cross sections, choosing in order these four cross sections and right click. And I can choose preview. You don't have close sweep on. And you get something like this where it's missing a section. Make sure you choose close sweep. And you can see that using maintain height, you'll get a slightly different result. Adjust the surface a little bit. And we can click OK. And I'm going to go ahead and shade this in. And there we have our shoe form. And you can adjust your curves if need be. I'm going ahead and delete this. I'm going to adjust the control points in here a little bit, straightening this curve out. Turn my snaps off. I straighten these curves out a little bit too. Looks like this one could be adjusted a little bit more. Just using the F10 key to turn the control points on and off here and making some adjustments just visually until everything looks right. And it's close enough. I'm going to go ahead and sweep this another time. So sweep two, select the two rails, or cross section curves. There's our sweep. I have a closed sweep on. Click OK. And there is our basic shoe shape. And go ahead and close off the bottom here. So surface and planar curves. And choose the, I could use the surface edge or the curve and right click. And that'll close that up. Select both and join them together. And I'm going to put a little rounded edge on here, solid, billet edge. Can adjust this down smaller. Just going to do it visually. Right click. And there we go. There's the basic form for my shoe.